Based on the Stephen King novel, the classic 1984 movie Firestarter is getting a reboot. The story follows a couple desperately trying to hide their gifted daughter from a federal agent, played by Gloria Rubin, who wants to use her as a weapon of mass destruction. Take a look. Charlie is out there all alone. Without you, her emotions will get the best of her. And what happens when she gets upset? She gets scared. She is going to blow some poor bastard to smithereens. She's going to be killing people. How's she going to live with that? Bring her here. And Gloria joins me now. Welcome. Good to see you. Thank you. Good to see you, too. Listen, so this movie brought me back, and I clearly watched this way too young, uh, the first <laughs> one with Gloria, with uh, Drew Barrymore. Yep. Uh, but for those who haven't read the book and who hadn't seen that movie, tell, them, uh, tell us about it a little bit. Well, the, the thing, the beautiful thing about how this ties into the original is that when she's talking about Charlie, you know, the little girl, Charlie is the daughter of the, you know, the, her, her parents were the ones who were experimented on yeah. in the original. Right? Like that's kind of the time frame, if you will. Yeah. So um, it's all about these kinetic superpowers, if you will, that a secret government agency was trying to, you know, harness. manifest or harness, exactly. Yeah. And, um, and so they do for a number of people, and the side effects were not pleasant, for, as you can imagine. Right. But then a uh, daughter is had, and we want that girl. We want that little girl yeah. so we can use her for our, our specific purposes. Yes, you play Captain Hollister, and I, I just do. saw that little mischievous uh, tone that you I use there. Know. She's very sinister. So well, how much fun is it to play the bad guy? It's great. I mean, see, the beautiful thing about Stephen King's writing and how Keith Thomas has, you know, really brought this element in as well, is there are variations on the theme. Yeah. Yes, of course she's sinister, but at the same time, why is she doing what she's doing? You know, it's complicated. It's more kind of, it's more multi-layered than yes. just good or bad person. You know what I mean? Yes. All of that being said, oh, I like being bad. <laughs> and listen, can you it's imagine so though be being bad. in Stephen King's mind that he comes up with all these things? No. Like, what is it like in there? I don't know. I don't want to know. <laughs> I don't want to know I either. Love the after, I mean, I love the results of this kind of work, but what happens in the mind to create these characters and these stories? I mean, everything from The Shining to, yes. to, to a, so many my favorite it's a shining place to misery. be. Yeah. I don't yeah, know. I want to do a remake of Misery. Oh, that'd be a good one. I think so. Well, clearly, I mean, the movie's called Firestarter. Yeah. You're working with um, fire and pyrotechnics. Yes. What was it like to, to be around that on well, the set? Well, it was, was the it... first time for me to work on uh, with some some of those kinds of special yeah. effects. And I don't want to give anything away, but, you know, there was um, a, a few scenes. There were a few scenes where there is a partition. So I knew that, yeah, course, yeah. obviously, everything's going to be safe and everything. But still, it's fire. And, you know, when you look at these stunt people and... Um, what they're doing to their bodies and That's and crazy. in such close element. Yeah. I don't know how they do it. I don't, I don't know why they or do why it. yeah because I would never be able to do anything like that especially if I wear my hair like this I would be like forget it everything would be a lit everything would be a lit. <laughs> I know it's too much hairspray in this um, but let's talk about something else we can see you in this weekend on Showtime's uh, first lady yes. you're playing Valerie Jarrett what yes. is it like to play someone who is living and people know is yes there pressure in that uh, yes def certainly there is but uh, you know I played Condi Rice and David Harris play true. This st stuff happens it's which true. Is a very different person of course but um, Valerie Jarrett is terrific you know she's I read her by uh, autobiography which really needless to say revealed a lot about her formative years I always loved to read about people's formative years yeah what was the foundation to make who they are today? yeah what motivated them yeah motivated exactly. them. so yeah. it's a great series and it was great fun playing Val at Val like she's my friend yeah Val. <laughs> well now she is now she is um City on a Hill's coming back too can you tell us anything about season three it is season three already well 90s you know the 90s in Boston so basically corruption and cursing and a lot of big shoulders, you know, the, the colorful, the 90s, the shoulder pads, exactly. Oh, my God. <laughs> Whoever thought that was a good you. idea, right? <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, you can catch Firestarter in theaters and streaming on Peacock tomorrow. Thanks so much, Gloria. It's a good one. You should watch it. It's great.